Hello, this is a tutorial over Microsoft Excel 2010. I'll be going over the basics of Excel to help you understand how it works and hopefully to help you use it in your current business or at home to even budget your your expenses. So, I'm going to start off by trying to help everyone understand how Excel works. If you haven't used Excel before, hopefully this will give you an insight of how it works. As you can see, every the top row here the horizontal row it's labeled A through Z and then you know it continues A A A B A C there's a whole lot of whole lot to that that you don't really need you mostly need what's on the front screen here and you can see that the vertical row is labeled 1 through you know so there's like 37,000 but you know that's irrelevant so to help you understand how Excel works I wanna explain to you something so in cell A1 here I'm gonna just throw out arbitrarily 5 and in cell A2, 10. Now, to, to add two cells together, everything has to start with equals. So, say I wanted to add cell A1 and A2 together. Well, I could, you know, type A2 plus A1, enter, and, you know, it'll automatically add it for me. Another easy way, you can hit equals and then hold the shift key down click five or I'm sorry click a one hit plus and then hit shift again hit cell a two and it'll automatically put it in for you You don't have to type it manually or nothing like that then it'll still give you fifteen the greatest thing about excel is right here it's as simple as this if you have to come back in you know change your budget change expenses anything cell will automatically add it in for you. Say, you know, this wasn't 5, say this was, you know, 20. After I hit enter, it will add it for me. It will constantly change the total, no matter what. You don't have to go back in, use a calculator, change it, nothing like that. As simple as this may sound, this is one of the greatest things about Excel. All right, I'm going to move on to a little more advanced stuff. Um, I set up a table here. It's 12 by 12. I'm going to show you some basics, like autofill. I'm going to, you know, type January here in cell, you know, J8. You can also always find out what cell it is right here. It's all, you know, right here is J8. This is J9. Okay. So that's January, you know, obviously January, February. Instead of keep typing these in, you know, to make it all, you know, that's time consuming. It's a pain. It's a hassle. You know, you can come up here, you know, click January, click and hold drag over February and select both of these cells and if you see here there's a little black box and once you hover over it your cursor turns into a, a black X this is the autofill tool if I click and hold and I drag it down you can see that it continues to put in the months for me and this is, this is an extremely helpful tool and it doesn't always it's not just for months either you can do it for for years say you know you want to, you know, say this is, you know, a table for budgets over, you know, these months and these, you know, years. You can put years up here. So, you know, say this is, you know, 1999 through, you know, 2000, 2010. You know, we put 1999 there, 2000 here. It knows to increase by one. It's as simple as that. You know, hover over the autofill tool, drag it down. Pow. Years 2000, you know, 1999 to 2010. It's very nice tool this doesn't have to be used for years or months it could be used in any way say say you want you know this list numbered you know say you have a roster you want to make an excel you know one you know one through fifty well you can you know one two they'll just go in increments of one you know highlight these two boxes use autofill tool drag it down three four five six seven you know it keeps going you can make as you know as many numbers as you want you know you could make you know name here number you know I mean this it's unreal you know you can make you can make these wider to help fit your names in you can do all kinds of stuff in Excel alright enough with the autofill tool we're gonna move on to a tool called auto sum say you want to know you know for 1999 you want to know the total number of income you made for that year so you, know, you got your total here instead of you know adding this all up by hand you know, get out your calculator, you know, take off your socks and shoes and add them up on your toes. You know, we're not going to do that. The basic easiest way to do this is highlight what you want added. And there's this handy tool up here called AutoSum. Come up here, click it, 
automatically puts the total down there. It's as simple as that. I mean, pal, it's that easy. There's also a shortcut for it. It's um, if you guys are in the shortcuts, it's Alt equals. So I'm gonna finish these off real quick using all equals. You know, I'm, it's pretty, pretty efficient here. It's pretty, I'm pretty fast at it. I'm, I'm a shortcut kind of guy. A lot of people aren't. And if you keep using Excel, you'll learn that there is about five ways to do everything. So don't be alarmed if, you know, someone else knows how to do it a different way than you. And, you know, they're saying you're wrong. You're really not wrong because there's, like I said, five ways to do everything in Excel. So there we go. We have all of our totals. Now, you know, if you look at this, this is pretty plain. You know, no, no boss is wanting to look at this. It's pretty... You know, pretty jank, in my opinion. It's not very appealing to the eye. So what we're gonna do, first all, first off, is all of these, like I said earlier, were or is currency. It's a money value. So you know, there's no commas in there. It's kind of hard to read. So there's a tool up here, right here. It's a comma. You highlight, you know, the cells you want here. Come up here, hit the comma, pow, puts the commas in for you. The only thing that really bites is it puts those ugly zeros in there. You know, since we're not dealing with cents in this case, we want to get those out of there. There's a tool up here. Increase, sorry, increase decimal, decrease decimal. Come over here, decrease decimal, decimal, sorry. You can you click it as many times as you want. You know, you don't really want that. I'm just just showing you how it works. So there, they're all in decimals, you know. It's a lot more organized that way. But, you know, another thing is, like I said, this is currency, so... We want to put the dollar sign in there. Select what you want. Come up here. And there's a lot of different currencies. You know, hit obviously United States currency. And it right there it adds a dollar sign in for you. Um <clears throat> as you notice it is on the left side. Um some people like that. It's called the counting style. Um personally I like it regular. I would call it regular in my opinion. But you know it, it, it auto right right aligns it to the to the currency there. So you can come up here. It's already on accounting right here. You can just hit currency and pow, it'll put it right right align it to the to the data value. And it automatically put those decimals back in there. So you can come up here, you know, decrease decimal, get rid of those. Whew. Honestly, that's that's a lot to learn in you know five minutes or so. I'm going to go over a few more pointers before I wrap this up here. Obviously, if you've word, used Microsoft Word for a day in your life, you're going to know, you know, the bold, italics, underline, you know, font, font size, you know, the left of the line, middle, you know, all this stuff. You're probably going to know it, but I'm going to cover it real quick. You know, say, say this is, you know, for your boss, you know, your business is, you know, Joe's Lawn Care. And, you know, normally... All this stuff right here would be up in A1, cell A1. You know, I would start up there, but, you know, for this tutorial, I didn't. So say you wanted to, you know, align this in the middle. Click on the cell. Come up here, and there's a very nice tool here. It's called Merge and Center. Actually, what you want to do is click the cell that you wrote your uh, text in. Drag it, you know, among your whole table here. Hit Merge and Center. It'll merge cell K through V row six and it'll merge them all together and it'll center the text so you know it's nice and neat right in the middle of your your uh, table here very professional looking um, to go over some of your word basic word functions you know you could bold it you know I'd, I'd probably bold it to be honest you know pick a font I have some con some custom fonts in here love that bleeding cowboy font you know come up here Make it bigger since it's a title for your business. Also, this tool right here, if you haven't experienced this before, it's increase font size and decrease font size. You know, those are big and little way. You know, if you want it a little bigger, just come up here, click this real quick instead of going to this drop down menu. So there you have it. There, you know, it's bolded. Pick a different font. You know, you can make it italicized. Underline it. You know, it's really up to you. Um, I'm sure everyone's seen the paint bucket tool and the font color tool. Obviously, 
the fill colors, the paint bucket. It's you can pick any color you want. You can go in the more colors, you know, pick pick the custom colors if you want. But you know, I'm just gonna go with a simple red, and that'll fill the entire cell. Since we merged it, it's all one cell now. So you know, I kind of like the red on black. But you know, if I wanted to, I could come over here, you know, make the font white, you know, blue, orange, you know. Whatever you want, it looks like that looks terrible. Honestly, black is the best color in my opinion. So you know, there's a, you know a decent looking title. If you wanted to say you know you didn't think it was completely straight, you could come over here. There's a increase in dent and decrease in dent. You know, you could move it left and right. Yeah, I just come over here and center it. Right here is the left align, middle align and right align and this is top align middle align and right I'm sorry excuse me bottom align this will be used you know if your cell is a little higher you know you could top align something um, to make this more look more professional you could come over here actually make this a table. I mean it technically it's in a table but it doesn't look neat, it doesn't look appealing to the eye, it doesn't look nice at all. So we get highlight our, our data here, come up here, format as table. Click this and it has nice a lot of nice tables already made for you. Um, I usually go with a medium to dark table here. Uh, I guess I'll go with this one. And it'll ask you, you know, this is the data that you want format in the table, hit OK and it automatically puts in a table for you. You know, obviously this doesn't go all that well with the title header I made, but um there's a lot of advanced stuff with these you know, arrows and stuff. You don't really need that. If you want to get rid of these, you can highlight them, come up here to the data tab, go to filter, click it and it gets rid of them. So um Another very nice tool, very, very nice tool. Say say you wanted, you know, January through December to look just like the Joe's Lawn Care. The color, text, bold, the whole nine yards. There's a very nice tool. It's called Format Painter. You could click the cell, come up here to Format Painter, click it once, come over here. If you notice the paintbrush and the, you know, the cross there, you could you know click this cell January hold drag down alright it will not let you do in a table apparently alright that's that's pretty stupid but if you I, I'll show you how to do it another way you can click the cell double click format painter it will allow you to you know click there click there All right, can't do that either okay click here I'm sorry, click that, click Format Painter, click here, you know. Oh, I see the problem. Since it was already in a merged cell, it is also merging this whole cell. That's not exactly what I wanted, but I think you guys get my point. You know, say, you know, I made name red, you know, black text, blew it up a little bit, you know, huge. That's, that's really huge. Use this real quick. You know, I can pick a different font. You know, yeah, don't know why I have that downloaded, but, you know, so there you have it, you know, there's name, say you wanted, you know, number just like it, you know, click the cell, format painter, come over here, click number, pow, it's, you know, and you can drag, and another thing is you can drag any of these as much as you want, if you want to automatically adjust them, you could double click, and it'll automatically adjust them according to you know if you have text in there automatically fit it nice and snug around your text you know if I move this out there's a lot of space here but if I double click it it'll you know push it against that text it's a very nice tool um I think I've covered most of the basics here um I hope everyone kind of understands Excel I hope that I helped you guys there's you know a few more tools out there I can cover wrap text real quick because it's a little bit it's kind of important um you know say say you have name number I don't know if name number address um zip code and you know you want those 
in different rows, but in this cell, it made them all in, you know, made it all smushed, and it's, you know, it's merging into other cells. So you come up here, there's this wrap text tool. It'll automatically wrap it, that way it does not go outside your cell. Well, I have kind of big fall on this, so it looks kind of stupid, but I'll, I'll, there, you see? It automatically wrapped it down, so now they're all, I think you get my point. They're all on top of each other, so they don't go outside the cell. It's it's a very nice tool if you know you have a really big title in a small cell and you don't want to like expand it, and make it wider. You know, for certain purposes, wrap text is very handy. Um, I think I went over most of the basics. Um, thank you for watching. If you please comment, you know, ask me any questions if you please. Um. Hopefully in the future, as I go through my college class and learn more about Excel, maybe I'll post a more advanced video for you people who want to learn more. But until then, you know, comment, tell me how you like the video, and uh, good luck. Thank you.